வருது அதாவது உங்கள் மக்களுக்கும் விசுவாசமாக இருக்கிறோம் மோடிக்கும் விசுவாசமாக இருக்கிறோம் என்பதை எடப்பாடி ஒவ்வொரு நாளும் காட்டி கொண்டே இருக்கின்றார் அநேகமாக மதுரையில இருக்கிற பாதிக்கு மேற்பட்ட காவல் வன்முறையாளர்கள் நாங்கள வன்முறையாளர்கள் நாங்கள் அதுதான் நாடாளுமன்றத்தில் கேட்டோம் போராடுகளை துப்பாக்கியால் சுடுவேன் என்று சொல்ல மத்திய இணையமைச்சர் நீங்கள் பேசிக் கொண்டிருக்கும் பொழுது பல தலைவர்கள் மீது வழக்கு எங்கள் மீதெல்லாம் படைச்சு வளர்ச்சி வழக்கு என்ன வழக்கு பொது சொத்துக்கு குந்தகம் விளைவித்ததாக வழக்கு இந்தியாவுக்கே குந்தகம் விளைவித்த ரெண்டு பேர் டெல்லியிலே உட்கார்ந்து இருக்கிறார் அவர் மீது போடு வழக்கு சட்ட ஒழுங்கை கெடுத்ததாக எங்கள் மீது வழக்கு இந்த நாட்டின் ஒற்றுமையே கடந்தாரு அவர் வன்முறையாளரா நாங்கள் வன்முறையாளரா அதே மத்திய அமைச்சர் நாடாளுமன்றத்துக்கு வந்த பொழுது நாடாளுமன்றத்தின் மையத்திலே நின்று எதுவும் துப்பாக்கியை சுடு பார்ப்போம் என்று நேருக்கு நேராக வன்முறைக்கு எதிராக கர்ஜித்த மரியாதை புரிய தொடர் சீதாராம் அவர்கள் அமைந்திருக்கிற Mr. Modi, Mr. Amit Shah and the leaders of their party and government, they accuse us of being anti-national. They tell us that we are speaking, or at least I am speaking the language of Pakistan. We want to tell Mr. Modi, Mr. Shah and all the BJP RSS leaders that every religion, we've heard leaders of the religious groups here from this stage, every religion can, will have its holy book. The Muslims will have their Quran, the Christians will have their Bible, the Hindus will have their Bhagavad Gita or, or any other, there are many other books for them. They all will have their holy books, we respect their faith. But for an Indian patriot like us, there is only one holy book and that holy book is the constitution of India and that holy book cannot be violated. If anybody violates the constitution of India, we will oppose that. Opposing the violators of Indian constitution is not anti-national, Mr. Modi, Mr. Amit Shah. It is the expression of supreme patriotism and we are patriots in India today who are fighting to defend our constitution. They charge us saying that only the Muslim community is opposing the CAA. I like Mr. Amit Shah to come here to Madurai and see this crowd and find out how many Muslims are here, how many non-Muslims are here. Today this is a fight not of Hindus and Muslims. This is a fight of every Indian against those who want to destroy our constitution. Don't divide us on the name of religion. When I say this, some of the BJP leaders say, your name is Sitaram, why are you? not supporting the Hindus but supporting the Muslims. I said I will support the Hindus, the Muslims, the Christians, the atheists, everybody because I support human beings. 
I do not support which religion they belong to. And that is why the objection to CAA. What is the objection? For the first time it links the issue of citizenship with the religion of the person concerned. Today it may be targeting the Muslims. Tomorrow it can target the Christians. Day after tomorrow it can target the Dalits within the Hindus. It can target the Adivasis. Once you bring in a discrimination on the basis of any particular criteria, then citizenship is not universal. That is against the fundamental tenets of our constitution and that is why the opposition. So this opposition is of Indian patriots against those who want to destroy this constitution and not of any one single religious community. Religion of a person concerned with the issue of citizenship. And that is why the opposition to the CAA. They say no Muslim of India will be thrown out because of CAA. The issue is not of who will be thrown out or not. The issue was on what basis are you deciding who is an Indian citizen. You cannot have any other criteria other than the fact that they belong to India and they will all be Indian citizens irrespective of their religion, their caste, their place of birth, whether woman or a man, they'll all be Indian citizens as our constitution pro promises and guarantees and that cannot be violated. Let me explain to you the chronology, as Mr. Amit Shah was trying to explain to all of us, the chronology of how it will affect not only the Indian Muslims, but it will affect the most poor and the marginal sections of the Indian people, particularly the Dalits, the Adivasis and women. How? What is the chronology? They are now saying that the NPR, the National Population Register, will start from the 1st of April to be enumerated and an enumerator will come to your house and ask you questions for which you only have to answer, do not have to show any document. On the basis of your answers, the government will appoint a registrar who will determine the, whether the answers you have given are genuine or they are doubtful. Every form that will be formed, that will be marked as doubtful, that is D category. That doubtful category, that name will not figure in the NRC. And if you want your name, if you are being dropped of the NRC because you have been characterized as doubtful character or doubtful citizenship, then you will have to produce the documents to prove that you are an Indian citizen and that is where the documents production will have to come. That is why NPR is the foundation for the NRC. When Modi Shah today say there is no question of NRC, they, they never spoke of NRC since Modi became the Prime Minister, which is also a lie. I was in Parliament. When Modi government answered within four months of becoming the Prime Minister, that the government is bringing the NRC, the first stage of which will be the NPR. And after this, they have said this at least 10 times in Parliament. So the NPR, if they can succeed in actually enumerating the NPR, that will be the basis for the NRC. And then these, the, the entire question of submitting documents to include your name will come. And that is how people will be excluded. In Assam alone, with 3% of India's population, 20 lakh people nearly have been excluded from NRC. If the whole of India, the same proportion you can imagine, how many crores can be subjected to such victimization and harassment. And that is the reason why the NPR must be stopped. So therefore, 13, Many state today, again Kerala, Chief Minister has announced that there will be no NPR in Kerala. Many other states have also announced. We want all the Chief Ministers, 13 Chief Ministers, who said no NRC, they must also announce no NPR and that is the way in which NRC can...